Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to cut out an object like this watermelon and delete the background. So the background color or the background, whatever it is, we'll get rid of it as well. Very, very common. Let me show you how to do it really, really quickly. The first step is you load up an image. I've got a watermelon, as I said. And the next step is you want to take your image that's in the layers panel, and drag it and drop it on top of that plus icon at the bottom right. That creates a duplicate layer, and that way we're working non-destructively. So there we go. The next step, and I'll show you the fastest way. In most cases, this will work. Go to Select, and now you go down to Subject. When you click Subject, you're going to notice that it draws around the edge of the watermelon. And if we go in real tight, it does a pretty good job, but it isn't perfect. So if you're in a hurry, this is definitely the way to go. Um, but if you need to go like exact, exact, not to worry. The next step here, oh, I got a command Z that I hit the button by accident. So now that we've got the watermelon selected, let's go ahead and click on this layer mask button right here. Left click on it. It's going to add a layer mask to it. Now, if you wanted this, just a watermelon without the background, all you need to do is go to file, export, quick export as PNG, or you can export it as a different type of PNG. But it needs to be a PNG or a TIFF, I believe, but PNG is the best way because it has the alpha channel, which allows you to have a transparent background. So you just get the watermelon and none of these weird white and gray boxes. Okay, now, we're this far. Maybe this isn't a perfect selection for you. What you can do is you can double click on the layer mask thumbnail here. I'm going to double click on it and it opens up the uh, masking options. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to increase the radius to two pixels. So basically what we're doing is we're doing edge detection. So we're making refinements, but we're refining it around the edges, where, which is where it generally will get a little bit um, wonky. So I'm going to increase the feather to 1%. This is going to make the uh, edges a little bit feathered, but they're less hard, the hard look, right? Instead of like, it reduces the contrast and it, act, yeah, just feathers the edges. And I'm also going to shift the edge outwards, upwards by 2%. And what this does is it pushes the marching ant, so to speak, the selection to the right a little bit so that it has a little bit more of the watermelon. And I'm going to go ahead and output this to a new layer with new layer mask and I'll hit OK. When I left click on that, perfect. I've got my, I've got a, uh, <laughs> I've got a perfect transparency. Now I'm just going to go to File, Export, Quick Export as PNG, and honestly, that's all you need to do. Now I'm going to delete this top level here. Let's go ahead and delete this one. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to delete the second one. And we're going to start from scratch again. I'm going to show you a second method. If you don't have a nice subject like I've got here or object, just going to drag and drop it down here on the plus sign. We've got a duplicate copy. Now to get a little bit trickier, if, you, if you're having a hard time, you want to use what's called the quick selection tool. Now I'm going to left click on that and you just want to see here's the fourth one down in the toolbar and quick selection tool. I'm going to go ahead and just start drawing over the watermelon and you'll see that I've got the marching ants going in there and I'll let go and I'll keep I'll keep going. What we want is we want the watermelon and none of the white like we want to go as best we can without any of the white stuff because that's what we want to get rid of. So OK, that looks not bad. I'm going to go ahead and draw a little bit closer here, and you'll see here that I'm basically just slowly but surely selecting the object and none of the background. This is the second way to do it. Uh, subject is usually the best way, but sometimes you don't have a clear subject or a clear object. And boom, we've got another selection, and we can go ahead and hit Select and Mask at the top here. And when we do that, there is our selection. And I am going to go ahead and increase the radius a little bit to like two pixels like I did last time. I'm going to go and feather to you know, one pixel. I'm going to shift the edge about 2% to the right there. And I'm also going to output this as a, well, you know what? Let's output this as a selection. Okay, left click on OK. And presto, this is our selection. Now, this isn't perfect because we want to get rid of the background. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to select and we're going to go to inverse, click on inverse here. 
Now this is selecting not the watermelon, but everything outside of the watermelon. And then you just go to edit and you cut it. And it should be gone, and it is gone. It's just I have the bottom layer turned on. So you go to edit, cut, and presto, you've got the watermelon. Those are the best ways to do that, guys. I hope this tutorial helped you out. Let me know what kind of tutorials you want. I can help you, and maybe I'll make one for you, and that'd be awesome. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll be back soon.